Welcome to a new test and teardown video. This time it's a Philips PM5519 GX color TV pattern generator. And I believe this one is from about 1981. And it's a little bit special. We got stereo sound. And we got all the color patterns. I don't think it got all those like really complex patterns, like uh, looking like a TV test screen and all that kind of stuff. Because I think that the way it's generating the different screens that will be with just some counters and some diodes and a little bit of flip flops and uh, stuff like that. Pretty simple stuff for its age because the main design is actually from 1970 and they've been upgrading this a little bit and the gx1 is the one from 81 and the one without the gx is from 1970 or something like that there's also a um, tv modulator built into this one so you can put the rf output directly into the antenna connector of your tv set and then just pre-select uh, six different TV channels and then it will simulate the different transmitter frequencies by these little dial adjustments right there. I think I got a few of them uh, broken a little bit. And here we can see what I'm saying about the model number is written here in its full glory. This is the GX version and also it's important to note the 18 watts this is what I will be monitoring when I do my first little test. Also, I can see it's configured for, oh, this is difficult to see, a 220. So I think I want to see if this one can go a little bit higher than that. We've got audio and video Dean connectors. So I was right about the voltage selector. We got a 240 setting, so this is, what I went for and uh, this is a classic Philips thing with the way with the cable and this little capacitor here to its chassis see there is a good ground here so all this is perfectly fine then I believe they're using a shielded cable to the main sh uh, switch and also it's good protected here so you don't get electrocuted and by the way, the on-off switch is really nice. See, this is mechanical instead of an LED. <laughs> Don't you just love it? So with one big circuit board like that, I did not see, I was looking for something here. It was a reflection, but it is okay yeah yeah beautiful layout so far i haven't seen anything that appears to be real ugly or anything we can see a little bit of early earlier repair jobs so something was changed this is probably in the area around the power supply and this is a classic uh, place where you will find uh, repairs and modifications um this is the RF connector and look at that. See, this is looking different from the other BNC connectors. And this is because they have actually shielded the back side and they're using a coax cable for the high frequency. So it's not going into the air. It's of course real nice and beautiful on the inside. Well, there's also a lot of stuff going on in here. This circuit board here at the back, that will be the power supply. We got, uh, I think, like four or five different voltages. And we can see uh, the different diodes, the little green ones down there. Sorry about that. Bridge rectifier and another one. And uh, that is because we need quite a lot of different voltages. Um, the TV modulator uses a higher voltage for the tuning and stuff like that. 
and the setting of all the different frequencies that's just resistors and they go into the little tuning setup like that and this is of course the RF output amplifier this OM320 and then the signal goes to this little attenuator and then out to the BNC connector using those black coax cables. The green add-on board here will be the stereo unit and as you can see the cables right here they go to the switches at the front uh, that is they are related to stereo mono sound and stuff like that. Chroma that will be the uh, color burst injection and this is of course done inside this unit where we find the oscillator and mixers and stuff like that and the rest of the um, picture generation and all that is done using all those timers uh, counters uh, flip-flops gates around here and a little bit of just resistors and transistors and quite simple stuff I don't think I want to remove this other board, but that is just the whole idea about this unit. It isn't super complicated and it's not going to give you yeah, full TV test pictures like that, but it will definitely give just a normal uh, full height color bar. That is what I would expect. And um, another little detail to uh, mention, that is the mains transformer and you probably see this immediately but uh, look how thin the little metal parts are here and this is because this is a high efficiency transformer and i think this is fantastic to see one of those in a unit like this so <laughs> this is very very uh, yeah good uh, probably a little bit higher cost unit this one as well i've still yeah i've tried real hard to see if i can find any leaked capacitors because they are really really old more than 40 years old but i don't see any leak capacitors or any black tantaliums or anything like that in fact it's really really clean no dirt or dust but also this is a completely closed unit. There isn't any fans or anything like that. So of course, dirt and dust is not getting in here. So that is maybe why it's looking like brand new. So let's see how this goes. Mains is applied and I don't see any kind of power consumption so far so good. And it's using 14 watts and it's looking like we got a pals so at least some synchronization what have i done here we are in color blue It's looking like something is happening, but I can see the it's AC cobbled. It's going all the way up and down, and that will be the color bar. Right, let's give it a little bit more gain here and see. Yeah, this is definitely AC cobbled. I'm not super happy about the way that it's it's doing that. It's not super good. And yes, here we go with a very weak color bar but here we yes here you can turn on and off the color how much you want and we want 100 percent still with 100 percent it is very weak this one here is the color burst and look at that this is clearly weak what have we done maybe there's something where we can tune this Video amplification. Oh, here we go. So this is why I was complaining about the video level was low. <laughs> that is stupid. It's right here. So this is, of course, completely off. What? It's not off. It's still there. 
Ah, that means the potentiometer is off. There you have it. Now it's good. But still, color burst is low. Very low. I hope this works. Let's go and find my TV screen. And there you have it. It is actually not so bad. So this is the video amplification where we can change see the brightness and then we can change the chroma into black and white when there's no more color burst it will go into grayscale like this and now we can actually see with a little bit of a dim video my screen here turns out to be a lot better see if i go into normal level here it overdrives the two wide ones so that means there is hope for this screen well well so let's go back to colors what else can we do so this is green red okay this is not doing any difference probably we need to go white no ah here we go that will be the different colors so this is green and red and blue and what if i do red and blue at the same time oh that will be perfect oh. and what if i do green and blue so yes look at that we can we can combine the different colors and what is this one doing a little demo things vcr mode and that will be the color bar what else can we do oh that one we can do oh so it flips out the other one a little checkerboard does that is a game of chess isn't it almost <laughs> eight by six so it's going to be a very fast game of chess and here we go. Yes, that is exactly what I wanted to show you guys. Look at this circle. So when I turn on the circle, can you see it goes from big to smaller? If I and that is because this is generated analog. So we got some oscillators that's running and this they're actually merging two sine wave uh, co and sine into <laughs> a signal that is uh, interlocked with the lines this is very 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 genius the way they've done this and i'm a little bit impressed to see this see you can combine this with the different modes you can turn this on and off oh you oh, yeah what else can you combine that is the coolest analog circle generator <laughs> i love it so much of course i had to try this this is real fun so <laughs> a few weeks ago i found one of those little handheld tv sets by casio and uh, I'm sorry, it's really blinking. This is annoying with the video. In real life here, it's looking really nice and fine. And I'm using the TV modulator. See, oh, it's even wireless. So you can now walk around like that and see the test signal. <laughs> How cool is that? Well, now I'm using the AI picture improver on my camera and now this flickering stuff is away oh yeah okay it's not super stable but anyway i think that is uh that is funny well well i don't want to say a lot more but thank you very much for watching i had a lot of fun playing with this uh good old tv pattern generator with rf generator and uh yeah i can make my own little tv station <laughs> see you bye bye